All right, so we made a little update to our timecode generator software. Um, it still generates timecode, and uh, a few things have changed. We've updated the interface to make it a bit more cleaner. We also removed the option to have two channel timecode. We only serve one channel now, but I'll, I'm going to do a revamp of all the features now, so I'm going to show you what's where. So we still have the play and stop button. Play is to start playing. Stop is to reset the clock. So you can also pause. Um, escape and spacebar do the same as pushing the buttons. So that's what I'm doing. Up here you can set the frame rate. Uh, so that's 23 point something. Uh, 24, 25, 29, 9, 7. That's drop frame to be clear. And we have 30 FPS. So switching between those is instant. Um, so that's easy. Um, one big change is the offset. Uh, there used to be like a secondary offset clock. Now you can just edit the time in your clock. So if you want to have like a 10 minute offset, boom, there you go. I want to start at 20 hours, 22. There you have it. Um, so this is also, all the settings are saved upon close. So whenever you open it again, it's um, it's there again. Um, so that has changed. Uh, the other thing is uh, you can now uh, select the output over here. So whether you want to have like output one or two. So that's the channel you want to use. Um, all right. So I think that's it. Yeah, under the hood we did some changes as well, but that's not really important. Uh, to talk about it's um, so that's it so um, if you have any comments let me know and um, feel free uh, to uh, give us some feedback I hope you enjoyed it